Hey everyone, how are you doing today? So today I'm just going to chat with you about my beliefs, my beliefs around human design and mm, a few questions per se that have come up. So, so this is how I look at design and this is a belief you can do with this with what you want to do with it completely um, up to you and your strategy and authority. So how I see design and our body graph is that that is actually your unique expression of the creator or the universe or the whole or whatever you want to call it. Um, whatever language you use, that's, that's what you use. So understanding that that body graph that is, that is provided to you holds your frequency. So I tell my people, um, I tell my clientele, if you want this frequency to be forefront and abundant within the energy field of the matrix, print off those charts, print them off, put them in the house. Um, you know, if, if you want to put them in the nightstand of your, of your spouse, whatever it is, print them off. Why or how or whatever this dynamic is, I don't know. Or if I'm just the only one observing it, probably not because I'm not alone in this world. The moment that a human design is pulled it, with exact time. Now, this is really critical. Exact time is so freaking crucial because this is your DNA. This is the frequency. This is your DNA, your RNA, um, the expression of your amino acids. And we are built on amino acids. We are carbon-based beings with this beautiful, beautiful crystalline potential within us. Now, when we print off these designs, all of a sudden the matrix field has a focus. And this focus allows for that frequency to be indicated, to be pinpointed, to be um, brought into the forefront, whatever you want to call it. I don't know. I don't know. I don't, I don't know how to explain it, but all of a sudden there is this adjustment. There's an adjustment that takes place. Um, it's like the person just got a, hmm, a permission slip to be themselves, whether or not they even know it, whether or not they even know it, okay? And then that absolute, um, mm, that, that energy, that frequency that's on that, that piece of paper brings this acute, unique, aspect of the whole into the frequency field. Now, where I'm at in Northern Alberta, Canada, human design wasn't even heard of, wasn't even, there was nothing going on when it bumped into me. It, it was a forefront here. And when I first started doing readings, it was really like people were just struggling so deeply to integrate this information, to experiment with it. And now that it's in the matrix field in this area, I have a reading with people and it lands in their cells like poof. I have people that it like they are just stepping into their spiritual journey. And they cannot believe this information and it lands with them in ways that I can't even explain to you. So the more each practitioner brings it to their, the energy field, the more it permeates and the more people can have this permission slip and be themselves. So I totally, totally, um, I, I want everybody to know this information. We are going to change the entire frequency on this planet 
if we all lived our uniqueness. And that uniqueness, the whole point of the conditioning field is there's this my belief, of course, I'm sharing you, you with you my beliefs. There's this underlying, hmm, how do I want to say, uh, there's a duality always in everything. That was the whole point of creation, creating separation so that we could see each other. So, you know, we're, we're playing on this field and there's this teeter-totter happening all the time. There's this underlying, hmm, I don't even want to call it dark energy, whatever you want to call it, I don't know. It's, it's, it's not light. And then we have the light energy. And in my opinion, human design brings both of these aspects together. Of course, they don't touch. If they touch, they would explode. They hover. And they hover right in balance. When you're operating through your design, there's always the this and the that. Has to be. In order, for, in order for us to have perception, we have to have the this and the that. So you are this unique expression that has been asked to come into balance. Come into the middle. Play in this middle ground. That is what has been asked of you. And when we do that, we begin to change the fabric of the whole matrix field. Instead of being completely doing this all the time, we get to come together and play on this field. Are there going to be challenges? Yes, there are going to be challenges. When you operate through your human design, through your strategy and authority, you are equipped to meet with whatever you are built to meet. So my belief, the uniqueness point of human design is not, oh, you have this piece of paper, oh, you have this design and you're totally unique. Yes, that's totally right. But of course the not self mind wants to run off they want, it wants to compare itself. It wants to be better than somebody else because it knows it's human design. All this bullshit stuff that goes on. The whole point of human design is not that. It's not about comparison. It is not about, I am better than you. It is about us, each one of us, shining the uniqueness of spirit through this human vessel. And playing on the middle ground and not way out here on the scale. Now, I had an excellent question from Rock um, on one of my videos here on YouTube. And he wanted to understand, like, he's been doing so much study on, on spirituality and then he met human design and everything blew up. Yep. It's gonna. You cannot learn spirituality from any teacher or any guru because they are expressing spirit through their own frequency. And here is what I'm going to tell you. A vast majority of them, and this is not um, a judgment. This does not be anybody being better than anybody else, but a vast majority of them are still operating through not self because they have never, ever, ever been introduced to their human design. Now, that is not, I'm not jabbing anybody. I'm not telling you not to, to find a teacher or a mentor and, and, and move forward with, in that. I'm not telling you that. What I'm saying is that their experience is their experience. Their unique expression is their unique expression. Do not try to be like them. Do not, not none of it. Uh, I bring human design to you through my uniqueness. I don't bring human design to you and regurgitate to you um, absolutely everything that Ross said. What is the point? You can go onto his websites and find his unique expression of it. You're sitting here watching this video because you are connected to my fractal 
which means that you can hear this information and integrate it in your unique way. Information is, it is knowledge, but experience is wisdom. And human design is asking us, learn it, learn the system, learn it, learn it from whatever teacher, whomever you can, whomever's expression of spirit you can hear, learn it. And then, and then experiment with it and become a beautiful outer authority for those people that can then begin to learn the knowledge from you. However, knowledge is not wisdom okay knowledge is not wisdom learning this information is not wisdom learning this information brings you to a point of knowledge which then is to take you into experimentation which is then going to create this massive amount of wisdom which then you can be a beautiful outer authority and and hmm, express your unique point of attraction to those that can hear you. What I love is that human design has, has it all. <laughs> it has it all because it's teaching you your frequency. It's bringing light to your frequency and, and bringing a, an understanding and, and a comprehension to it. And then it's about experimenting in a healthy way using the strategy and authority, trusting, trusting that your student is here to have a curriculum like nobody else on this planet has. So why am I sharing this with you today? So here's what I want to introduce to you is I just want, I just want you to take a look at this just so that you understand it. I am going to always be sharing my beliefs with you. I have the 56th gate and it sits in Saturn. Saturn's all about discipline. If I do not share my beliefs with you, my thyroid goes crazy. <laughs> the, 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 the pressure for lack of better word, because I know that the throat center or the communication in action is not a pressure center, but the pressure coming through my physical being to express my beliefs, if I do not do it, like that's be I'm being disciplined. And, and that discipline introduces me to, you know, get in front of, of the video, um, write a newsletter, uh, write a blog, whatever it is, write down whatever. I need to express it and YouTube is a perfect outlet to do that. So I'm going to share lots of my beliefs with you. You get to do with it whatever you want to. Um, you know, if you're a completely logical being and as you see, uh, I have very little in logic. I have the ninth gate and the 18th gate. So logic is mm, pretty much thrown out the window with me and as well my, um, my brain body and my mind are, are right oriented concepts in this meat suit. So there isn't going to be much logic here. I can recognize a pattern and when I get focused, I can absolutely experience what I need to experience. And then I get to share my beliefs with you through that experience. So you can do with this what you want. You don't even have to listen to all of this if you do not want to. But that's why I share my beliefs. And what I, what I trust, what I trust in human design is that those that need to hear me will hear me they will connect with me and we get to move forward into, you know, into a friendship, into a, a business relationship, whatever it is. And it doesn't matter to me. But know that information is knowledge. Experience is wisdom. Trust that your unique expression of spirit 
will be a beautiful outer authority for other people. The moment that you're operating through the not self, it's pure distortion. Um, it's unhealthy for you and for others. And you're going to feel stuck in a rut and not going anywhere. So those are all my beliefs. Play with this and do, what, do with it what you may. Um, thank you for, to Thomas as well. Um, him and I connected online and uh, he had some great suggestions to me as well. So I appreciate it. I appreciate the interaction on, on, on my YouTube channel. And, and please experiment, please, 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 please. You know, there's like, I could, I could talk to you for days, years, months, whatever on human design. None of it matters. Um, if you're not experimenting with it and you, and the mind is still getting in the way and it's still creating bullshit comparison, um, information is getting, is, is going to provide no wisdom. The information only gives you knowledge. So thank you. And uh, I hope this finds you well. And hopefully we can continue to connect on my YouTube channel. And, uh, and if you want to reach out, definitely do that. Thank you.